Welcome back, y'all. We are back at it again. Um, with the Empire. Not the white vans this time. Not the white vans. The Empire took the white vans because they're jerks like that. I might die. Like, I don't know if I'll <laughs> do, well, do this. Well, you just hit a meditation circle, so that's probably why it's there. Yeah. Glitch. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> ah, an intruder! <laughs> He's kind of so, so surprised, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you be if you saw Jedi? It's post-order 66, they're supposed to be dead. You're not wrong. Ah, no, no! No, 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 no! No! All right. Cool, very cool. I missed! <laughs> I'm firing up her and then I missed. Gotcha. I forgot I could... Ugh! Parry in, uh... Mid-air. Nice. Joke's on you, he's got three stim pads. I... And you didn't use any of them! I really thought I'd finish it off before I had to heal. But I kept... getting confused. I'm get um... Usually, you might have, you may have noticed that I don't lock on. Um, usually I do when I play these types of games. But I've been noticing that a lot of people who play uh, these games with a more focus on combat, or at least a, a more efficient focus on combat, um, they tend to not lock on so they can control the camera and see everything coming at them at once. Or do the best they can, as opposed to focusing on... Fuck! As opposed to <laughs> focusing on one character at a time, or one enemy at a time. You can kind of look at others. But I gotta, I gotta work on it. I, clearly, I have <laughs> work to do. I mean, I think the fact that you even that you know that, and that you're like trying to consider that while you're playing, I feel like you're on the right track. You're taking it seriously enough. I think you'll get there. Thanks. Of course. <laughs> I'll usually only use it um, when there's one enemy left. Jesus! Help me! Oh, he sounded so scared. There's something. I don't know who did like the voice direction for this, but I want to find out because. Whether it's a stormtrooper saying, like, whether it's a stormtrooper going like, "Am I the only one left?" or um, uh, Cal here getting all um, help. They, they, like the fear they have is is subtle but so real. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. Very good acting to portray. Like, this is a. Star Wars is a fun world. It is meant to be digestible for uh, a younger audience, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't get dark in a lot of places. <laughs> and, like, it's definitely a world of people kind of something. getting screwed over and being scared. Don't mention Ooh. I don't think the Empire knows he's been here. Then we have the advantage. For now. I love wall running in video games as well. Hey. What did we find here? Ah! I can't see it. But yeah, the, the voice acting in this is very, very well done. Alright. Doing a little dance. <laughs> Making a little love? I was wondering what he was gonna do. I was waiting for an attack. So I was holding block. There we go. I'm guessing that these are pipes of some kind, that the rats just kind of took over. Because they look too... That's interesting. I'm on the right track. I think they're much older than the structures that we were looking at earlier. I think we're getting into 
to something older. We're, we're going into the mountain. Ooh, like the Zepho? Yes, I think we're getting closer to that giant statue that we saw, which is ancient. Uh, what do I know? Video game rules. Light. Light. Follow the light. Video game rules. Did I do something wrong? It's just this room, right? No, 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 it's this oh. way. Whoops. Can't see. <laughs> Ooh, pretty and scary. That's how I like my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Can't get through. Boop. Let's do this. It crippled the Empire's equipment. I can feel something pulling me there, beyond the storm. Follow it. Let the force sharpen your instinct. All right. I'll do my best. Can you, can you do me a favor and look down real quick? Okay, it's just another one of those goat boys. I saw something shadowy in the distance that looked like a tentacle, and I was just like, oh, <laughs> God. It's a, it's, um... It's it's some eldritch horror that you can <laughs> fall into. No, that's that was the first level, honey. It was the first level. It was the first part of the game. Oh. When you fell into a giant eldritch horror in the ground. Oh yeah. That was this game. Yeah, that was this game. Oh. You don't you don't remember the giant mouth flower from. The third Star Wars movie, but no, much bigger um, in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, that was. Nope. Is it, I, no, maybe I'm wrong. I keep saying that it might be in the book. I think it is, but I think there's a much better description of it in like a Star Wars encyclopedia that I saw. Probably. All right. Uh, oh, left, right, or middle, honey. Oh golly. Uh, uh, what? Left. All right. Bottom left. Because I feel like middle is where the plot's going to happen. But these aren't alternate routes. I'm just asking oh, wait, which way you want to go. I wonder if they connect. So i got to start this from what, some direction. It's a gigantic cousin of the Sarlacc. Sarlacc? Yeah, although they are quite different under the surface. Oh, different in what way? Oh, it's bigger. <laughs> oh no, it's like, wait, no! Oh, it's in, it's, no. oh, the picture I was thinking of is in there. Okay. No! Oh, that is, that is actually terrible. How dare you? Is it big? It's Let's go, big one. No! Wow, he just evaded me. Okay. I just want to show you. So obviously there are all of these eldritch horrific <laughs> pictures yes. of this truly ginormous and honestly terrifying creature that we got here. Oh yeah, it's huge. But like, look at this dumb little drawing they made of it in the corner. <laughs> like, look at this. Wow. <laughs> this <laughs> That's very silly. <laughs> Can you keep it a little dumb smiley face? That's great. <laughs> Get the book. It's so worth it. The book is very cool. 
Uh, the inspirational whiteboard sketch was rendered by game director Stig As Asmussen. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, say it again, sorry. Asmussen? Stig Asmussen. Stig Asmussen. Okay, cool. Yeah. That is a truly horrifying creature, though. <laughs> like, it's just so much bigger than I thought. Well, <laughs> like you said, I think you said it a second ago. It's fun and scary. I think you were talking about the game a minute ago. Yeah, yeah. pretty pretty and scary. Pretty and scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Star Wars universe. I feel like this is leaning way more into scary, though. Like, it's more fascinating. I wouldn't call it... Well, right. that one's not pretty. That's the scary part. <laughs> That's the scary part of the universe. Yeah. We're going to be scanning. We're going to be scanning. We're going to be scanning. We're going to be here. Oh, that was... Terrarium seed. Oh, cool. Yay. These things are pretty cute. Just right. like you, BD1. I got two of them. That's awesome. Uh, looks like we're going to the left. That way. Cool. I like that he has different runs depending on like the terrain, like the look, the angle at which the, the ground tilts, he will move differently. That's a nice little detail. I appreciate that a lot. So he's got his normal little brisk jog, and then he's got like a oh, I'm kind of stumbling, I'm kind of falling over, hands close to the ground, kind of kind of walk forward. Ooh. Oh, what? Wow. Oh, hey, look at the sides. There's the statues of the Zeppo. Zeppo yeah. Oh snap, this must have yeah, been it's incredible. Oh no, this must oh, this would have been a very sacred site. Oh no. Oh no. fascinated by this place. Ancient force sensitives. I mean, honestly, me too. Yeah, I mean, like, it's obvious that there's a lot of, like, Egyptian inspiration with the Zeppo's design, but, like, ancient civilizations and, and fantastical stories are always crazy to explore. They're always fun. I'm in the tomb. It's massive. It's... No sound of them down here. It's it's definitely still not sure what I'm supposed to find. He's a little eccentric. Tell me about it. I was gonna say vague. But he here for his amusement. Keep an open mind. I think I, it's definitely Egyptian, but I also think it's cool how there's like like runes everywhere as well. I think they're hieroglyphics. I well, think they're uh, more no, like the, the hieroglyphics on the wall. But if you looked at the ball. The ball had like a ring of runes around it, and on the and on the pedestal underneath it. Oh. Right. Oh yeah, they they are a lot runier. Yeah, they, those are very runic. Ooh. Um. Good so catch. it's thanks. It's it's just a really cool mix of, of cultures because like the I'm I I could imagine that like the writing on the wall is just that it's writing, but the runic stuff must have had like a a very special like significance. I don't know if it was like in like a sacred language or if it was almost like a like a spell in a way uh, like a way of harnessing the force but in something closer to what we would think of as magic it might just be an alien, alien language but maybe because they do talk about a type of magic in this game uh, and that's more Dathomir you see that? right ah! yeah yeah ugh ugh okay those things blow up when you get too close to them like right they mm, they upset me <laughs> yeah ugh you're supposed to... No, not that way. You gotta push. I can't do that yet. That's what I do. I guess you hold it and then you run by. Oh, no. Um, but well, what I'm saying is, like, why would they use two different languages for one culture? Oh, like, you, well, no, because, what, because of what you said. 
I think that the, the hieroglyphics are the writing, but the, the runes, like you said, they're, they're like, they might be good luck, they could be spiritual, they could be ugh, ceremonial. Maybe ceremonial. Because it's not, um, what's it called? Because, like, the hieroglyphics could have been, like, something like a, um, I guess, equi like, equivalent to what English is now, like a common language. Yeah. And then the runes could have been s more specific to, like, their culture, potentially. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe it's specific. I don't know. I was going to say it could be to, like, specific force stuff, but I guess they're the oldest people, the oldest race to have been known to be force I don't know. I'm not sure what the lore is yet. I gotta brush up on it. Skungus. <laughs> Would you like to read the Skungus? There's a Skungus among us. Among us. So. I'm not sorry. <laughs> um, sure. Um, avoid contact. Move carefully. Moving carefully around Central Pod. Explosive core that may be utilized as a defense against other enemies. Skungus are a parasitic plant-like organism containing explosive toxic spores which may detonate when a threat approaches. Smaller pods burrow underground in clusters to comprise a larger central hive. Known for their putrid smell and soft brain-like tissue, gross, various forms of this invasive species exist. <laughs> brain-like. Wait, no, are those eyes on top of it? Because it said plant-like creature. Not plant, not creature, plant-like creature. Are those eyes? It's a plant-like organism. Are those eyes? You. Some. Be. Because look, the eyes kind of shrink in and they shake. Like it's scared. But well, then that one up there, like the eyes are just straight ahead. They're all up and stuff. You're right. Either well, way, now they're a lot cuter than I thought they were. Because <laughs> I always thought they were pretty annoying and scary. It's amazing what having eyes will do. For, uh, for oh, like, yeah, they're following me. For Yeah, for, like, character designs. The eyes are following me. Oh, my God, you're right. It is eyes. They are eyes. Wow. Day. Sir. Someone's gonna say something else. I'm glad you finished it off. Damn, you sliced that guy in half. I do be doing this from time to time. Ah! Ah, why? I swear I rolled. Help them! Get kicked. Oh, that was a good, like, <laughs> very quick, very short. Uh, Alright, not yet. Where to now? The door literally right here, apparently. It's a big wheel. Ah, uh, oh, oh, the wind. Oh my god. That's where I came from, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. No. Okay. No, you came from above. You like slid in. Slid in DMs, yeah. Slid in the DMs. Skill point. Recount. <laughs> I demand a recount. Recount. It's one vote for everyone. That's still one vote for everyone. <laughs> Miss Scary Godmother. Yeah. We gotta watch that again this year. We do. Yep. Oh, I forgot I have to grab the thing. Do 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 do. Ooh, do I sense puzzle? Yeah, we got puzzle. Puzzle. Yeah, we be puzzling. Statues. They're all they're gonna be all over the place. Yeah. Maybe 
you have to run and jump onto it before it, uh, before the wind gets to it. Okay, now I see. I have to climb on the side. Dang, Marshawn, you just broke up a, uh, a vase. A priceless antique vase. Marshawn! <laughs> have you no respect for our history? No! <laughs> Step it on him. <laughs> Those are some really fragile vases. I don't know what they were supposed to hold at this point. There's no more art history now. <laughs> just the statues. Make sure I get that one. <laughs> Alright, uh, puzzle. I think you just need to grab on and, and go to the other side because it's swinging now. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. That was bad. That was not good. That was pretty bad. Good thinking, though. I didn't think to stop it. Oh! Shit, it's almost with that guy. But, is it? No! <laughs> Alright, I tried. Um, that is the way to do it, I think. I just have to figure out where I need to pause it. No, so quick! Look! Wait. I remember this stumping me the first time, but not forever. It had a simple solution, I think. It's just I can't really tell how close I am. Why can't you just jump on it now while it's swinging and then swing over and jump off? Maybe you're right. I got a meditation station. And a skill point, yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, rest. And skill tree. Overhead slash. And this is sprint attack. Well, it's the only thing I can get now, so. Uh, sprint strike. Attacking out of a sprint allows Cal to perform a special lightsaber attack. Okay. Sprint strike. Got it. Shabuzi. Nice. Sprint attack. Sprint attack. Let's get moving. That's an ice slide. Yeah. Oh, that's where I came from. Yeah. We got automatons. We got automatons? Oh, we got automatons. That's an automaton. Oh. A nice automaton? No, obviously. Of course not. Oh. Ah! Oh, very not nice. Oh, like super not. Oh, like. Oh, like really not nice. Oh, wait. I remember these guys. I'm starting to as well. You gotta, you gotta do like a thing when he's open and like force push his, his heart thingy out. Uh, I don't have to force push yet. Oh, um, in that case you're screwed? Nice. It's <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm sure there's another way to beat him, I just don't remember what it is. Just beat him. Yo, this like, blue light he's got going on is giving me big Atlantis vibes. It's pretty sick. It's awesome. <laughs> Slow and protected by a central power pore. When glowing, uh, power pore may be removed with external force and careful skill, allowing a critical attack on the guardian. 
an ancient automaton constructed by the Zepho. It, it is believed the Tomb Guardian's central function was to protect sacred sites, as details of their abilities remain mysterious. If encountered, one should proceed with extreme caution. Cold and indifferent, they attack not out of malice uh, or defense, but from a programmed response to intruders. Known for powerful, unblockable strikes, they can prove especially threatening in limited areas without space to dodge their attacks. Their primary vulnerability appears to be the power core, located above their central abdomen, and any disruption of the, the core should provoke a shutdown. Uh, and since we were talking about it earlier, the, you can see that on the shoulders, the hieroglyphs are still there. Yeah, I was looking at those. I was like, ooh, that's kind of... Their design is sick. Their design is super sick. And they're based off of what the aliens, what the Zeppo themselves look like, so they're just like the robo Zeppos. Yeah, that's so cool. It's really cool looking. I really like the design a lot. B. All right. Okay. There's this guy. I remember having to go this way. That's a wall, I think, that's gonna go down. This is to come this way, I think. But I can't push that yet. Uh, not this way. It's that way. It's slowly starting to come back to me. Yeah. Not all of it, but it's coming back. Like an old friend. You can walk over. It looks like there's a thingy to your left. To my left? Yeah, there's a path. That's not a path. That's oh, a slide. that's the ice. Oh, my yeah, that's a slide, my guy. Yeah, that's what. That's how we got. Whoa. Here. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Slow down, slow, slow down, slow down, slow down. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like there's a puzzle, like a way to bring those metal bits down. You mean the wind chime up there? No, no, no. There's some, there's some metal underneath the cliff where. Oh, you mean this? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Can you like do anything with the horse? Oh, hey. Okay. That's the wind. That's where it is. And then that'll rise. No! Thought I had it. <laughs> Slide, slide, slippery slide. Yay. Shit, I jumped too early. My depth perception is garbage. Yes. <laughs> Stone Zeppo, really big Stone Zeppo. Oh, this is so cool. You know what else is cool? Destroying art history. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah. right. I'm just kidding, that's not cool. Don't destroy art history. Yeah, please. This is. Just... 
Is that dead? No, that's just a hole. Can I turn it off? Really? Dang. I think I remember what I have to do. I just have to get on this side. Yeah, okay, yeah, I just have to time it. Hello? There we go. Uh, so just a little to the right, right of this. Okay, a little further. Alright, here, this one's for all the gold, it's for all the marbles, Carolyn, it's for all the cookies. All the cookies? Beef Stroganoff! <laughs> nope. uh, no, my cookies! How could you march on my cookies? Yeah, it's because I, <laughs> I went for beef stroganoff instead of cookies. You did. Wee! Cookies! Come on! Dang it! I don't understand. I give up. It's over. Ending the game right now. <laughs> what? The wind affects me more over here than it does over there. Hmm, interesting. There's nothing I can interact with. I just have to move forward. It's up there. Oh, there's a council judging you. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys shut up. You leave me alone. Hey. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> they are taking damage from that. Nice, I would See, it so. died. <laughs> ah. The other one just died from walking in. Yeah. I didn't know that was going to happen. I was just trying something out. <laughs> just, just, just trying not to die. Uh, which way am I going? Um. Is it blowing to the... Alright, cool. Ooh, yeah. There we go. Oh, that's, that's tricky. Going that way. Oh! The things I do for love. Oh! Courage! Courage! There we go. Nice. Oh, <laughs> I keep thinking circle is the interact and it's the stick. I gotta click in the oh. stick. This lightsaber can't solve everything. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. what? When they get spooked, they don't uh, stick to the ground so well. I was a little confused. I didn't want to jump yet. Whoa! All right. Ooh. Oh no, it's another one. Ah! I can't jump over. And I'm about to die. Right in the face. Oh. Right in the kisser. That was crazy. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> well, you'll get him next time on oh, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, right, the 30 minute one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we'll get him, we'll get him next time, honey. Okay. I'll get him next time. Bye. Bye.